we mentioned were a little dinged up. To the perimeter, Cortland Sutton, their number one wide receiver, breaks the first tackle and is nudged. Got two of the better receivers. Cortland Sutton, another guy, 6'4", 215, can go get it. This is your classic RP. Some time, and it's Sutton again across the middle. Back-to-back -back first downs. Look in left, and the ball is tipped. Another run pass operation. They try to motion Xavier down inside. Some of your screen. Here's the 10th play of the drive. Hicks going over the middle, completes the pass, but it's not enough. Here. Three wide receivers looking end zone, and it's too tall for the six foot four Sutton. Picks this time on third and goal. Goes across the middle, but to the back of the end zone. The height is the advantage. Touchdown, Sutton and the Mustangs. Two routes underneath. Send your big guy back behind playing basketball. Tell your quarterback, throw it at that crossbar and let your big man go get it. That's an easy choice. And Hicks and the Mustangs back to work. Throw to the slot. Fascinating. Third and three, a wobbling sideline pass. Sutton hung on to it, and they call it a catch. Give him a first down. More than a catch. Unbelievable. 6-4, going up like a basketball player. You Ponies have yet to really establish a solid, powerful running game. One on one. Downfield trying to get Sutton again. Falls incomplete with Bobby Fulp in coverage. Spectacular. Got some length. Doing a great job. Breaking on the ball. Good eyes. Good athletic ability. Staying off the back. I guess the four man rush. Hicks gets rid of it. Cortland Sutton. Crossing route, and another catch for him who, you know, he came into the game just four catches shy of what he did last year. SMU that they're able to run the ball a little bit when they want to. Ball tipped across the middle, take it the other way. You wonder if they don't just take a shot to Sutton down the field here with Sargent on him. As far as up-tempo pace goes. Now one-on-one, -on -one, taking the shot to the end zone. Try to run for it or get close and then see what your options. Motion and Sutton across the formation. On third down, Hicks surveys his options, throws short, and at the goal line, a dive. And Prochet is down short. Hicks, too high for Sutton, flag. Pass defense, defense number five, spot foul, automatic, first down. They're trying to bleed the clock down a little bit. Ah, yeah. Get your tackle, line him up a receiver. Tackle eligible. Spread it up, five wide, go to the end zone. And get a touchdown out of it. Cortland Sutton for the touchdown. Chauncey Briggs lined up outside. Tried to go a little decoy. They got Jeremiah Gaines running down the hash mark out of the tackle position. Lock here for ECU as they go up 38-17. What a great answer for SMU. Just got woodshedded last week against Memphis. Score fest early on. SMU was dazed. Now you're on the road. It's a little chilly. You're ECU to this point down big. Plenty of turnovers have marred the day offensively. And it's the ground. You got to show your heart, your guts, your determination down the stretch. Looking to throw on third down. Going upstairs. Cortland Sutton. Been impressive. Now, and the battle is won by the wide receiver for 35 yards. Corey with a nice job able to just snatch. The free safety, throwing that ball up against the hash and 
single safety. Really trying to assert control of the football game. Hicks with a good look and a nice route as one. Travis Phillips into the game now playing corner. These guys just respect Sutton. For 12 for SMU. Well, you mentioned before just a long yard is another big run by Freeman. Got a flag down. Flushed out of the pocket on the run. Hicks throws it away. Freeman, who's battling vertigo in here. They don't have a whole stable of guys to go finish the game. And then just, he's had some big games this year. Perhaps not going to match that number today. This has got to go at least 10 yards, and it does.